Hey everybody, this is Jason with the Glazer Center, and I figured I'd take a big break from my uh, normal mundane tasks of uh, uh, doing training videos, and I thought I'd show you something fun, something that I can post to the public, and uh, maybe somebody can get some use out of. I'm using Athena um, 2009, which runs inside of AutoCAD. If you want some more information, you can go ahead and take a look at the rest of my videos. Um, well, basically what we're going to do today is we're going to take this 3D model of a um, window frame and glass, and turn it into, not that, turn it into this, um, which is a nice realistic, it's got realistic glass, and of course our metal is nice and shiny and looks like anodized aluminum would look, um, or painted aluminum would look. Um, so we're going to go through the steps to do that, and hopefully I'll get you in and out of here in a couple of minutes, and hopefully you can pick up a tip and use it, uh, even though you may not be in the curtain wall or storefront business using Athena, you may just be using AutoCAD. Um, there may be better tutorials out there, and you know what, I, this is just kind of fun for me, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, basically, Athena uses layers, and a, any kind of materials that we utilize in our project gets assigned their own layers, their own hatches, their own uh, set of definitions, um, their own physical properties and values, because we can run engineering calcs and all these kind of different things on them. So we have the nice ability to know that these uh, chunks of aluminum here are actually pieces of aluminum and they're actually assigned to the AL or aluminum layer. Um, so all we have to do basically now is create a material and apply it to the AL layer, um, which is what I'm going to do first. So what you want to do is go to View, Render, Materials, add a material, call it Frame, frames or aluminum or whatever you want to do that you're going to understand it. I use the advanced metal and um, in our world typically um, our aluminum is usually like a dark brown color so I'll go to a really dark almost a black color um, and I'll grab the other one and go to maybe a little bit of a lighter color, lighter brown maybe, something like that. I've got two different kinds of brown. Um, and there's my aluminum and I'll go ahead while I'm in here I'll just do blue glass um, I can do gray glass I can do any kind of glass bronze whatever I want it to do um, actually I'm gonna do bronze just for fun now I guess it's not gonna look exactly like the, the model but we'll do bronze glass and then basically I'm just gonna use the uh, translucent or clear I don't know what the real difference is between the two here um, and then I'll grab some sort of a bronzy of a color maybe something like that maybe I don't know we'll see what it looks like anyway once you um, once you do that you change your opacities and you change your shininess and you know do all different kinds of neat things to it but um, the best thing to do is to pull this up later on and uh, adjust things as you go first thing I'm gonna do right now is um, I'm gonna type material attach Um, I'm going to grab my bronze glass, and I happen to know that uh, my glass is on the ESG layer because I checked beforehand. And then my frames are going to be on the AL layer because they're aluminum, and I know that in Athena, aluminum is on the AL layer. There's that. I hit OK, and you'll see everything change into something a little bit nicer. Um, that bronze is probably going to be a little more yellow, I think. Maybe a little more pissy. opacity, I don't know, maybe something like that, I don't know. Um, now you can see that when we take a little peek at our drawing, I'm going to go to orbit here, and I assume my computer catches up with me, and uh, you'll see that we can see through the glass and see what's there, and uh, you'll see now that our aluminum looks much more realistic, and uh, I know that YouTube's going to really botch my video, but that's pretty much what she looks like there. Um, let me just take away all objects invisible. Nice little command that we have in Athena. We can make any object disappear with a couple of mouse clicks. And uh, see what it looks like underneath there. That's pretty nice. Turns out real nice, I think. So um, that's how we make uh, realistic looking aluminum and glass for use 
interest in the current model business. Current model storefront business of Athena in AutoCAD. So, that's that. Thank you very much.